What's up YouTube? Thank you so much for coming back to the Gold Guy channel. Today we are working on the good old CB750 Cafe Racer. In my last uh, video I posted about this bike, which was a joke by the way, a big April Fool's joke. I basically said I was selling this bike. Anyway, another part of the video, it was actually running like complete <laughs> as some of you guys have commented. <laughs> The reason it was running so bad is basically because of these carbs right here. They were very dirty. Um, I haven't even taken them apart and I know they're really dirty. I can tell it was only running on one or two cylinders. So basically in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean your carburetors in under an hour very quickly, very thoroughly. And I've done this so many times. I've done it probably five times on my Suzuki GS850 Scrambler. And there are four carbs on that bike so I've done this probably about 30 times between both my bikes if you count each individual carburetor so I know how to do this and I always say that you shouldn't be teaching someone how to do something unless you know it, how to do it yourself very well and I think I've finally gotten to the point where I know how to clean carburetors on these old bikes very well so I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do this extremely quickly if your bike's running like shit you got to actually thoroughly clean the carbs instead of just putting fuel injector and carburetor cleaner in the gas tank because that doesn't do any good in the long run. It's just going to get clogged up again. So we're going to set a timer and we're going to see how fast we can get the carbs cleaned on this bike. Thank you so much for coming back to the Gold Guy channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 30,000 by summer. I think we can do it, guys. Uh, so please subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope you enjoy this video. Hopefully you learned something valuable. <laughs> So we've got the timer set and first of all you want to remove your air filters or air box depending on what you've got and once those are removed you go ahead loosen up your intake manifolds, remove the throttle and choke cables, remove the fuel line and vacuum lines all that stuff and we've got the carbs removed in just 5 minutes and 12 seconds. And next you want to dump all the old gas out of the carburetors. It's very important to do this before anything else so you don't further get junk stuck in your jets. I think I might be the first person to do that with a gold pan, but just look at all that junk in there. And next, you want to remove all of the bowls from the bottom of your carburetors. Make sure the gaskets don't get messed up. So we got all those removed, and we're at 12 minutes and 16 seconds. Then you want to take these outside and spray them down with some carburetor cleaner. Get all the old rust pieces and whatever else could be hanging out in there. Get all that stuff cleaned out. Then you want to leave those sit outside. And now with the bowls removed, it's time to remove all the jets from the carburetors. This is the main jets and the pilot jets. And underneath the pilot jet, there's another jet which you need a really skinny flathead screwdriver to get to. It has tons of little holes drilled in it. Here it is right here, so get those removed. All the jets need removed. Also the uh, little rubber plugs next to the jets, remove those as well. And now we're ready to remove the floats. For this, you need a really small punch or a nail. I'm using a grounded down screwdriver, which works just as well. Remove all those pins holding the floats in. It shouldn't take much force. If it does, then you're doing something wrong. So we got all those removed, and then you want to inspect all the needle valves to make sure that they're, the seats aren't ground down or else gas will leak in. Um, so get all those removed, set all those aside. Also you want to in inspect the floats to make sure they're not cracked or else they'll fill up with gas and they won't do their job properly. You can take your carburetors outside and spray them down very generously with some carburetor cleaner. Every hole on the carbs needs sprayed out. Make sure you all the old gas, all the gunks out of these carbs. And then you want to get the carburetor cleaner and spray it into the fuel inlet. And you want to watch to make sure gas is coming out of each of the carburetors or else you have a really bad clog which needs forced out further. And if the carburetor cleaner does not come out very easily, then you want to get a container with a nozzle, uh, pour some gas in it, and then put a piece of fuel line on it. Oh yeah, sweet slow-mo shot. 
And next up, probably the most important part of this whole job, you want to get a steel wire brush and yank one of the wires out. Then you want to run that through each jet, make sure there's nothing left in the jet, no dirt, nothing. Get them all cleaned out, the pilot jets, the main jets, and then you can use a toothbrush to clean your bowls and carburetors out if they're still really dirty. And once you've broken up whatever was in the jets with a wire brush, you want to spray them all out with the carburetor cleaner. Make sure there is nothing left in those jets. they got to be squeaky clean. Also, when you spray them through the pilot jets, make sure none of the holes are pointing at your eyes. I have made that mistake before. It hurts. So then you want to rebuild the carburetors, put everything back together, and make sure that uh, the floats move freely. Make sure the gaskets are all put back in right before you tighten them down. And then we're pretty much done. And good job guys, now your carburetors are all clean, you can put everything back together. And in just 52 minutes we got the carbs off the bike and cleaned, now we just have to put them back on the bike, reinstall the fuel lines, tighten everything up really nice so we don't have any vacuum leaks. You can check vacuum leaks by spraying carburetor cleaner around the intake manifold and if the bike bogs down or idle speed changes then you know you've got a problem. So in 57 minutes we've got this job done. So let's get the bike rolled out and see how it runs. All right, guys, you made it to the end of another Gold Guy video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out here at the donut pad. Anyway, I'm out here testing out the bike, showing you guys that these carburetors are cleaned and the bike's running a lot better than it was before. So, guys, if you learned something new, if you uh, enjoyed the video, please subscribe, comment down below, and like the video. Also, if you're feeling generous, you guys can uh, support me on Patreon, link in the description. Even just a dollar per video would help me out greatly to get out more content, more builds and everything. So cleaning carburetors isn't that big of a task. It only took me under an hour to clean these carbs completely. So if you guys can do it too. And if you have any questions, please comment down below.